Hi, welcome to She Spice. It Hollywood might be the focal point of diversion, where our number one films, network programs, and dearest stars sparkle. However, beneath the style and charm lies a clouded side. The double dealing of youthful abilities is one of the business's most alarming perspectives, with innumerable shocking tales of youthful entertainers being manhandled and exploited by industry. Top dogs, these aren't simply reports. These things truly happen. Some even say that Oprah Winfrey is essential for this first-class bunch that propagates such horrendous ways of behaving. What's considerably more disappointing is the fact that these accounts are often forgotten about or overlooked. Generally speaking, companions of these elites, like Oprah's dear companion Gail Ruler, step in to assist with concealing these wrongdoings. I can't imagine that Oprah would believe that anyone, Cindy or anyone, should say here, stand up, let us investigate you. It's not Oprah's thing to embarrass or cause anyone to feel seriously. Gail's part in safeguarding her strong companions from examination features an upsetting example of complicity and quiet in Hollywood. Corey Feldman is a perfect representation of an entertainer who has been standing up for himself and his companions for a really long time. Corey has endured when they were simply kids in the business. However, his cases were frequently overlooked or not viewed in a serious way. Feldman has more than once said that he and Ruffage were attacked as youthful entertainers. In interviews, he's drilled down into how unnerving it was to say that children are terrified and that the individuals who did this to him were individuals he believed were his companions. Kids are frightened. You could say that the two individuals that did it to me were both dear companions of mine, or so I thought Feldman claims that he had it even more than he did in his book movement. Feldman charges that Heim was our phrased on the arrangement of the 1,986 film, Lucas, simply a year after their well-known film, The Lost Young Men emerged by Feldman. It was during the shooting of The Lost Young Men that both he and he experienced more of a Feldman demand that this was certainly not a very well-maintained mystery. Many individuals realized what was happening, but decided to remain quiet. It was the point at which we were both on the arrangement of The Lost Young Men. You know, Things were going on between the two of us, no doubt, or did they know, and they simply weren't making a difference either way with it. I mean, I realize he let a many individuals know. That's what's so disturbing to me. In 2013, Feldman showed up on The View and was determined that the culprits were still out there, proceeding with their ruthless conduct there, and they're a portion of the Freed's most influential individuals in this business. Yet he said he was unable to name names in light of California's legal time limit regulations. Feldman even gave explicit instances of how these worked, like how they would single out better-looking, more youthful children and take them to after parties where unspeakable things happened. They would pull away the better-looking, more youthful children and save them for their own get-together, which would transform into a pool party, and afterward they'd have their principles. Goodness, there's no bathing suit on in the pool. Corey Feldman has been vocal about supposed dim exercises inside Hollywood all along anyway, and as he turned out to be progressively frank, specific people inside the business started to smother his voice in him from additional divulgence. A few striking people who endeavored to quiet him were tragically ladies, some of them being Oprah Winfrey and her closest companion, Gail Lord. One individual who wasn't modest in getting down on Oprah for safeguarding the business is Seal. Back in 2018, Vocalist and lyricist Seal got down on Oprah Winfrey for being a fraud and said that she knew about the wild issue of Say in Hollywood at the time Seal attacked news tycoon Oprah, Winfrey following her moving brilliant globe discourse, guaranteeing she had some awareness of. The reports encompassing Hollywood maker Harvey Weinstein yet did nothing. The moderator's broadly cheered discourse zeroed in on the predicament of ESS ladies and the Me Too development and I'm particularly glad and roused by every one of the ones who have felt sufficient and enabled to the point of shouting out and sharing their own accounts, notwithstanding this. Seal blamed the media expert for being an illustration of unctuous Hollywood. He took to Instagram at the time, imparting a dose of Winfrey to the shamed maker on two occasions with an image that read, you have been a contributor to the issue for many years, yet unexpectedly, they all think you are the arrangement. The artist made it one step further, inscribing the image that Winfrey realized about the different wrongdoing charges against Weinstein. You'd heard the tales. However, 
You had no clue he was quite attacking youthful stare peered toward entertainers who thus had no clue about the thing they were getting into my awful. For an additional point, he hashtagged the post with hash hypocritical. Hollywood for setting in October 2017, the New York Times and the New Yorker detailed that many ladies had charged filmmaker and Oprah's nearby companion at the time. Harvey Weinstein of Say, over a time of no less than 30 years north of 80 ladies, in the entertainment world, at last blamed Weinstein for such demonstrations. Weinstein himself denied any non-consensual closeness. Criminal examinations concerning grumblings from no less than six ladies occurred in Los Angeles, New York City, and London in May 2018. Weinstein was captured in New York and, furthermore, accused of essay and different offenses. What's more, Murmurs have circled about Oprah, supposedly adversely affecting various youthful entertainers through control, notwithstanding Oprah's boundless praise as the sovereign of all media. There are minutes where she could have vacillated by Cindy Crawford, basically the unbelievable. Supermodel as of late, drilled down into her first experience with Oprah during an episode of the Apple television in addition to narrative series. The supermodels, and apparently Crawford isn't precisely satisfied with her. I was like the chat or a kid like being seen and not heard, when you see it through the present eyes, when Oprah's like, stand up and show me your body. Cindy Crawford's most memorable brush with Oprah Winfrey was very unique in relation to her later appearance on Oprah's Lord Class in 2013. In that interview, Crawford truly talked about what her appearance had meant for her mental self-portrait, as per a BC News. Crawford felt as though she was being passed judgment on exclusively based on her looks, provoking her to effectively champion herself as something beyond her actual presence. I felt decided by the way that I looked, and I think it set me on a course to address myself as somebody who has a cerebrum, she uncovered before her 2013 appearance on Ace Class with Oprah. Crawford paused for a minute for contemplation, re-examining how others saw her, notwithstanding that showing up on Oprah Crawford's appearance on her underlying prologue to The Oprah Winfrey Show wasn't precisely gleaming particularly looking back. The mother of two shed new light on the experience, contemplating how Winfrey's activities may be deciphered in the present culture. It appears there may be waiting pressures among Crawford and Winfrey that warrant further conversation, like showing us for what reason you deserve being here at the time. I didn't remember it just when I glanced back at it, and I was like, gracious, my golly, that was so not okay. Truly in the pilot episode of The Supermodels, Cindy Crawford thought about it whenever she first showed up on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Crawford was only 20 years of age when she and her administrator, John Casablancas, showed up on The Oprah Winfrey Show without precedent for 1,986. Strangely, it was not just Crawford who was getting acquainted with everything Winfrey Show had recently been partnered with in September of that year. Did she generally have this body stand up for one minute now? This is what I call a B. Crawford comment on this specific Oprah section in the Supermodels episode. I was like the chat or a kid, like being seen and not heard when you see it through the present eyes. When Oprah was like, stand up and show me your body, show us for what reason you genuinely deserve being here, the previous supermodel found the meeting upsetting and communicating. I was so damaged, I truly felt I was not viewed as an individual voice in her own fate, as revealed by the Los Angeles Times. Crawford conceded that she didn't completely get a handle on the degree of it at that point, yet with age, she came to acknowledge how unseemly the circumstances were following Crawford's public remarks. Oprah Winfrey seemed to answer by bringing down the meeting from YouTube. Cindy Crawford freely defied Oprah Winfrey over her treatment of a 1,986 meeting, almost 40 years after web-based entertainment clients imparted their fluctuating insights. Even Oprah Winfrey's dear companion Gail Ruler remarked on the circumstances in spite of not having seen the meeting. Lord communicated shock and a slight dissatisfaction, saying, I'm shocked and somewhat disheartened in light of the fact that I know Cindy's been on her show numerous times, and it has forever been a wonderful encounter. I would hate to believe that something that happened quite a while back, and I can't envision Oprah would believe anyone Cindy or anyone should say here, stand up let us investigate you. It's not Oprah's thing to embarrass or cause anyone to feel awful. Yet this isn't whenever Gail first dipped in to protect Oprah from issues she has caused for herself through the highs and lows of life. 
Oprah and Gail have handled difficulties together. Their fellowship endures everyday hardship as well as adds a touch of interest, proposing Gail first dipped in to protect Oprah from issues she has caused for herself through the highs and lows of life. Oprah and Gail have handled difficulties together. Their fellowship endures everyday hardship as well as adds a touch of interest, proposing that no snag is sufficiently able to break their strange association. While some appreciate seeing their cozy connections, there are mumbles recommending that deep down there may be a few fascinating elements impacting everything with regards to 1976, the sovereign of television shows. Subscribe SheSpice for more videos.